Another great feature is project-based presets. So what this allows you to do is save these three fields under the batch assets group to the project file itself. So no matter when you open the project, you can always load these just with clicking this button right here titled load from project. So let's take a look. So I'm going to open up another project file that already has presets saved to it. So I'm going to select this one right here. Now, if we look over here, we can see that these three fields here are carried over from the previous project. So normally what we would do is we'd go into Google and relink our data source. We'd relink our footage folder and our output folder. But that can actually take quite a bit of time, especially when you have to sift through a lot of lists and things. So now instead of doing that, we can just click on load from project. And once I click this, you'll see that the data source is now linked, the footage folder is now linked, and the output folder is now linked. So now when I hit preview next, it's actually getting the correct data from the correct spreadsheet as opposed to data from the previous spreadsheet. So this can be really handy. Now let's go back to the previous project. And you can see here, these three fields are carried over from the previous project that we just had open. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on load from project again. And now when I hit preview, it's pulling data from the correct spreadsheet. So the question is, how can we get the fields here saved directly into the After Effects project file? To do that, you simply click the save button. And when you hit that button, these fields get saved to the project files XMP data. So when you click on load from project, what it's doing is it's just loading those references directly from the project's XMP data that you saved using this function here. In addition to doing that, Templator now will save the file to disk for you.